By age 11, he'd gained a large social media following for, of all things, crocheting. Now, five years after we first introduced you to Jonah Larson, his list of accomplishments keeps growing. We're going to tell you what Jonah's up to now, but first, Boyd Hoopert reshares Jonah's incredible story. In this corner house in La Crosse, Wisconsin, a grandfather clock gives beat to many a grandmother's craft. I turned 11 on January 5th, Saturday. Jonah Larson has two grandmothers. Yep. They just don't crochet five hours a day. Mm -hmm. Jennifer Larson is Jonah's mom. I've been doing it for half my life. Sometimes he gets up early before I even get up and he's at the table crocheting at like six in the morning. Morning and night. I'm going to sleep now, mom, but underneath that cover there's his crochet hooks and a, a, a flashlight. A light first lit. <laughs> When Jonah discovered in a bag of discarded craft items his aunt's crochet hook, which led him to YouTube. Found a basic stitch video, and from there on I was hooked. Hooked? Seriously? He made a dishcloth for his first project, and he made it perfectly. That's the first hat Jonah made. He was five. Here's a personal favorite. It's my sunset afghan with a border I made. He's a crochet prodigy. It's a Scandinavian throw. I think you were about eight when you made that one. Jonah's mom posted the first of several of his projects on Instagram. It was a, a afghan he made of 800 flowers. He was probably seven at the time. You had that group that was absolutely fascinated, then you had the doubters. What? You gotta be kidding me. There's no way that kid did that. Hi fellow crocheters. Today in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to make these adorable baby shoes. Today, Jonah has thousands of social media followers. His own catchphrase. Goodbye and crochet with. And a cowl neck trend he started by crocheting one for his mom. Thousands of people started making it and they just referred to it as the Jonah cowl. Jonah also gets fan mail. Living in Minnesota. Mail and gifts from around the world. Dear Jonah, you are an inspiration to so many people. These are some nice colors. One day I came home and there was five boxes about this size on our porch. I do have a picture of that once we um, dumped all that yarn out, Jonah's sitting in the middle of it. But the kid who may as well have a thousand out-of-town grandmas started his life alone. Yeah. That's Jonah at the orphanage in Ethiopia after he was abandoned as a newborn by his mother. There was a really high possibility he would have some cognitive delay. He was very sick. He was malnourished. Yeah. Lucked out. Jonah, adopted by the Larsons at five months. A uh, baby Afghan. Now has in his grasp his own slice of the American dream. My family, my two dogs, and Crocheting. Jonah's favorite time? Crocheting with his mom close by. Mm -hmm. Keeping tabs on the hundreds of orders for his work, a yarn company sponsorship offer. Text him real quick. And an upcoming national talk show appearance. We would fly you and Jonah in on the 30th. All while mastering advanced ninth grade algebra in the sixth grade with bigger plans ahead. I'm planning on attending West Point, the academy, and then becoming a surgeon. A surgeon. This is kind of helping me prep for that. Dr. Jonah Larson's patients will be in good hands. Well, when you only have a short time, you got to make the most of it. That's true. Boyd Hooper, Care 11 News, La Crosse, Wisconsin. Five years after his story first aired, Jonah is a high school junior and still crocheting while connecting with his now million social media followers. He's authored two crocheting books and became a regular contributor on the Drew Barrymore Show. But most impressive, Jonah built a library in his native region of Ethiopia and is paying the salary of a librarian. He also built a science lab in a girl's bathroom and paid to launch a soccer team. Finally, when Jonah heard kids at the school were sitting on the floor, he paid to have 90 desks built all from his crocheting proceeds. Thank you, Jonas! Thank you, Jonas! Wow.
Are you kidding me? <laughs> That's amazing. I'm just sitting here like my mouth is just speechless. <laughs> But, I had no and idea. then his his little his quote when he was 11 saying, "If you only have a little time, you better make the most of it." Well, he's, he's only a junior, and he's already done changing all of the that? world. Wow. Oh, that's so wonderful! I oh love these Proud these revisits him. to these amazing stories. I love watching that story every minute. Yeah. I think I've watched it seven times because yeah. I think he was on the Today Show. I think that's what uh, Boyd was referring to, and of course Drew Barrymore. Yeah. I've seen yeah. there too. Impressive, young All right. man. Well, we're going to need another update on him. Maybe yeah, every two when years. When he becomes <laughs> a surgeon. <laughs> yes.